So we have to go beyond fear and beyond hope. Be here now. I think I've said that before. I'm laughing. No, I really have. I've said it a lot of times. But once we get beyond fear and beyond hope, then we practice being right here, right now, with a feeling of what is needed and the desire, with a clear picture of it in our mind, we, can, we have the ability to draw it to us. Hello, welcome. We are taking a look at astrology two degrees at a time. We're looking at the opposite signs on the wheel. I thank you for being here. We're looking at symbolism, insight, truth, the psychological profiling of astrology. For a little more information, if you need some intro, there are two videos in the description that could be helpful. One is on crystal wisdom. What do I mean when I talk about the crystals here? And the other is the beginning of this series on Sabian Symbols. That very first video has got some introduction to what this is all about. Thanks for being here. Today we are on Aries Libra 1. We're going to begin with Aries. A woman just risen from the sea. A seal is embracing her. Another way to say that. A mermaid and octopus lovingly embrace. Colored sheet lightning flickering in the depths of an opal. A treasure map tattooed on someone's back. A man repairing and extending a stone wall in spring. The stone here is obsidian. It's a protection stone. It blocks and absorbs and transforms negative energy. A stone of clarity with the ability to release emotional and physical and spiritual blockages. It draws out stress and tension. It cleanses psychic smog from auras. It can boost precognition and prophecy. It boosts personal power and physical strength in a grounded way. So this is a new beginning, cusp energy, the very first of the new year, many say, but I think there are many new beginnings, but this is definitely one of the major ones. There's the new year, there's the Chinese new year, there is this new year, so happy new year. This is a symbol of Venus rising out of the water, a mermaid coming up for air, all potential, a minimum of actual presence happening here. It's the idea of something. It's the very first piece of a seed popping up out of the ground, still has dirt on its head, and it's just coming out. When something is first coming up, like a baby being born, it is still embraced by remnants from the past. So the octopus with the arms embracing the mermaid, something wanting to change, but it's still got the memory of where it's been, past failures and successes, past mindsets. So this is potential, emergence of potential. Therefore, it is delicate, a delicate new beginning, a time when everybody is wanting change. We're coming out of a fixed sign. We're in a new sign, a brand new cycle. This is where everybody wants to break out of the blocks. And so there can be some boundary issues going on today on both ends. But definitely here on Aries we're talking about the man building the wall, the stone wall in spring. So when we want to create something we create a boundary quote unquote. It could be just in our head at first but then we may come up against and we will, we'll come up against other people's boundaries because everybody's wanting to spread out a little bit. Change, adapt, set a boundary so that we can attain that boundary. The treasure map tattooed on someone's back. We're looking for the self, but it's on our back. We must go within in order to find the gold, find the treasure. The treasure map is on the back. We go within to find the self. So the self is the map, the treasure, and the wall. We're wanting to reform ourselves here. The best use of this energy is to follow our impulses. Don't overthink. Don't try to figure things out. Go with your gut. Don't try to justify yourself. You know what you need. Do it. In addition to following impulses, we also need to keep disentangling ourselves from things that slow us down. 
That's the octopus. That's the memory of the old. That's an old way of being. And people, situations will come up to remind us, hey, this is what you said you were before. People are allowed to change. This is where we must remind ourselves that I'm allowed to change. Others are allowed to change. Keep putting up your boundaries in a respectful way, but just know that that's a possibility. It will happen. The seal and the octopus are the memories of the past. The old primordial soup that is still clinging to the old. This is half in, half out energy of the waters of the old and into the air of the new. We're trying to seek and define ourselves by determining and expanding, repairing our boundaries. So maybe sit with a piece of paper today and think about how do I want to shift things around that will make my life easier. This is the long haul and the long game, but knowing what you want to achieve is the first step in achieving it. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating boundaries. We're emerging and creating boundaries. Let's take a look at Libra. A few ways to say this first one. A butterfly preserved and made perfect with a dart through it. In a collection of perfect specimens of many biological forms, a butterfly displays the beauty of its wings, its body impaled by a fine dart. A butterfly becoming transparent, its wings shimmering with colors of the rainbow. An apothecary's shop in which herbal concoctions and other medicines appear as needed. A group of fat Italian ladies preparing bread. Tall, thin men traveling on unicycles. The stone here is white opal. It attracts love, wealth, beauty, companionship. It increases creativity. It helps balance out our moods. It improves communication. It opens our mind. It boosts enthusiasm for life. Here we have a coming together of energies to create forms. Most specifically here, we're talking about the butterfly. The butterfly is a metaphor for man transforming. A love of beauty, the color white and black plays strongly on this particular axis, obsidian and white opal, so a black-white theme, and it's the idea of balance. We're at the halfway point where we have half light, half dark, so that's one reason that that is strong. Um, but on this end, we're looking at a white or a creamy white. Perfection, beauty, grace, a transformation of sorts is what we're going for here. So you may be someone that others come to when they need to figure something out, to get to the bottom of something, for something to transform. This energy echoes what we talked about yesterday. So if you have cusp energy in your chart, whether it be on Aries or Libra, take a listen to Virgo Pisces 30. It could be helpful. There's a coming together like moths to a flame on this degree. So an ability to draw things to us. We have to know that we have that ability, but knowing that have a perfect idea of what we want, a purity of feeling, and it brings it to us. There's that ability here. Transformation, like that of a butterfly, coming out of the worm stage into the butterfly with the wings is happening here. So spontaneous fulfillment of our desires as they are needed. That's the apothecary shop, magically coming up with whatever is needed. Spontaneous manifestation is available here. But there's also a simplicity about this degree. The fat Italian women making bread. What's needed in the moment? Enjoying the simplicity of life. Making bread. Simple nourishment. So we have to go beyond fear and beyond hope. Be here now. I think I've said that before. I'm laughing. No, I really have. I've said it a lot of times. But once we get beyond fear and beyond hope, then we practice being right here, right now, with a feeling of what is needed and the desire, 
with a clear picture of it in our mind, we, can, we have the ability to draw it to us. If we think about an idea of what, what gifts are needed so that I can more harmoniously attach to my present situation, the spiritual realm goes into play and brings it to us. Here, the impulse is that everybody wants some sort of transformation. And so it's a gathering of energies pulling together to create an archetype. Here it is the butterfly, a perfect, to me, creamy colored butterfly is what I have seen. Leave a comment. What butterflies do you see on this degree? Or what do you see on this degree? The beginning of the transformation action is happening on this degree. Thanks so much for being here. Give me a like if you're enjoying these. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment. Tell me which of these symbols speaks to you the loudest or if you had a dream about these or if they're strong in your chart and you'd like to give the rest of us some insight. And until next time, take care.